Fonts are one of the primary ways we can add a personal touch to our website, but when you're using a service like Google Fonts that can introduce both performance and security concerns, or if you're using your own custom font files, those can be extremely difficult to get set up and working properly. That's why in Generate Press Premium 2.5 and later, we're very excited to bring you the local font library system. Our font library is gonna help you solve all three of those problems I just mentioned and make it extremely fast and easy to serve your fonts locally. On my example website here, this is out of the Generate Press site library, which is a fully featured template that you can use and customize. You can see that we have two different fonts here, one on our headlines and our site title, and that one's called Brigada. Then we also have Roboto down here, just a standard body copy font. If you're using an existing Generate Press site, you're familiar with the fact that you go to customize and typography, and you can bring in a couple of fonts through the font manager system in the customizer but this is going to pull those fonts from Google. And if the user visiting your site doesn't already have that downloaded, it's going to ping out to Google to get that font file, which is where the issues with performance and privacy come in. So now what we can do is inside of our generate press settings, we can go ahead and enable the font library. Then when we refresh this page, we can see that there is a new font library button here. If we go ahead and install a Google font, what it's going to do is reach out to Google for us and bring that font file to our website locally and serve it to your visitors from your website. That fixes both the major privacy concern of reaching out to Google anytime your users need that font and also solves the performance implications of reaching out to Google servers for that font and waiting for it. If we take a look at our PageSpeed Insights for this particular website, we're doing okay on mobile. We got an 81 out of the box with no extra effort, which is really nice. And if we scroll down here, we can see that there's a section called Eliminate Render Blocking Resources. If we take a look at that, we can see our Google Fonts down here is serving and actually holding up our website for nearly a full second, 750 milliseconds. So just serving these font files from our website locally is going to eliminate that blocking time altogether and that will significantly improve our website's performance score. So what we'll do is in the font library, we're gonna go ahead and click on install Google Fonts. Like I mentioned, the headline one is called Brigada. We'll go ahead and just bring this in. And since it's a variable font weight, Generate Press will bring that in and use that variable version automatically. So we'll just take in all of those versions and we'll click on install. Now, if we go back, we can see that we have our first entry here in the font library. And then the other one we need is our Roboto font. Now in general, it's a good idea to only bring in the font weights that you're actually going to use. So let's just say we're gonna use 300, 400, and 500. And again, we'll just click on install selected. If we go back to our font here, and let's just say Roboto, there are a couple of options that we can take a look at in terms of font displays, aliases, CSS fallbacks, and some other advanced options in here. So be sure to take a look at those. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and return to the customize panel here. Let's refresh, and then we're gonna go to typography. And you can see that we now have the Brigada 1918 and Roboto in there twice. The easiest way to differentiate which one is which is if you see this little trash can icon, those are gonna be the font families served from Google remotely, as opposed to these down here. When you hover, you can see it says font library, and you'll know those are being served from your website directly. So what I'll do here is just go ahead and delete both of these two. And then I just simply need to come down here. So our body copy was using Roboto. Our site title was using Brigada. And then all of our headlines were using Brigada as well. And we can see right there, now everything is swapped out for us and serving locally, which you can see represented here in this CSS variable. Let's go ahead and publish this. And of course, if we take a look here on the front end, everything is loading exactly as you'd expect. Now let's go ahead and rerun this PageSpeed Insight score and see if our mobile performance increases from 81 now that we're serving this locally. So let's go ahead and just rerun this test. And look at that, just by serving our fonts locally, we gained 13 points in Google PageSpeed Insights from 81 all the way up to 94 on mobile. And the desktop side is 99. Look at that, that's amazing. So in mobile, if we look down here, under this eliminate render blocking resources section, the Google fonts thing is totally gone. So that blocking time we have now basically eliminated and we've gained huge performance on our website as a result of that. Now, the other thing that you can do is if you have your own custom font file, you can upload that as well. And Generate Press will handle all of the conversions for you, including making the CSS entries in your style sheets. So what we could do is go ahead and upload a font file. I've got this file here called Coffee Soda and we have an OTT font file or we have a true type. I'm just gonna use the OTT one. 
And in just a split second, you can see that it's already uploaded. So now we have Coffee Soda as a custom font file that we can use here on our website. You didn't have to mess with uploading anything or enqueuing things in your CSS. So whether you wanna serve Google Fonts locally or you have your own custom font files you wanna use, the Generate Press font library system makes that extremely easy to do. We hope you're excited about this feature. If you have any questions for us, please do let us know in the comments and visit our website at generatepress.com.